Hello, this is Solar PV TV once again from SNEC 2017 from Shanghai. Very crowded, uh, very loud, and uh, very surprising guest actually. Yes. Pranav Meta, uh, the man with three heads, and the man who is involved uh, in the chairmanship of our three partners actually here. So, Pranav is a chairman of the Indian Association, also co chairman of the Global Association and vice chairman of APVA, so a lot of roles plan up. So what brings you here actually to, yeah. so, uh, to China? Uh, yeah, Thomas, I am very happy to be with you once again. Uh, after uh, the, uh, our meeting in India uh, last in year. in Dubai? Yes, uh, and also Dubai. And uh, very nice uh, interaction that we had last time, you took my interview. And uh, again, uh, you know, one year down the road, uh, how does the picture look like is uh, certainly very interesting. Uh, I would like to first uh, say something about India. Uh, as you know, India is today at 12 gigawatts and uh, certainly amongst the top five uh, in the world. Uh, and we are racing to be uh, maybe number three. Uh, Whereas these numbers are interesting, but I think uh, numbers are not as important as what we are going to contribute for the global warming and climate change. Uh, India has always said that although we are not a part of the problem, but we will surely be a part of the solution. Exactly. And uh, why you are here actually in China? Why did you come to China? Oh, Ch China has made impressive uh, performance uh, in solar and uh, renewable energy. If we talk of solar, they are at 75 gigawatts leading the world uh, consecutively for the second, third year. And uh, uh, we must say heads off to China, especially after this year's snack that I can see. Here we are talking so much of technology, new developments, especially agriculture and solar PV. So uh, that uh, Telesan uh, uh, night uh, they had presented uh, and I visited them also today. And to me, it looks that uh, it holds out a great potential uh, for India and not only for India, but all the, uh, you know, Africa, South America and all those uh, people, uh, which is not uh, only for urban, but even for rural areas, uh, farmers, instead of asking for electricity, if they can generate electricity, that is a great concept, especially using bifacial uh, modules and panels. And uh, Telesan has uh, demonstrated uh, at least at 10 different uh, places, not only growing rice, but also aquaculture, fish, and uh, everything. So I think it holds out a great uh, promise, uh, even for India, I have requested them to come with the first uh, pilot plant, uh, which can be replicated, uh, of course, uh, keeping the cost uh, affordable. Okay, Pranav, and um, you are also attending some, uh, let's say, international forums here, here yes? So there was a meeting of um, Global Solar Council, uh, there was a leadership um, forum of um, APVA. Yes. And uh, how does it look now, actually, the cooperation between different countries? Uh, yes. Do you, I mean, are you working guys together, hand in hand? Uh, not only Asia Photovoltaic uh, Industries Association and Global Solar Council, but if you recall, uh, we met at Dubai. And there, there are also uh, Gulf countries, uh, Gulf Cooperation Council. They are also making uh, good progress uh, and uh, making good plans for uh, sustainable energy, especially solar energy. So it is very heartening to note that the oil countries are also now thinking of uh, solar. Uh, and of course, Asia, consisting of all these uh, China, India, Malaysia, and uh, even Japan, everybody uh, really giving top priority to solar industry, which is really heartening to note. And the international community that has gathered here it was very interesting to interact with all of them. And uh, I have this question because, you know, like um, where we're coming to India, 
I mean, the biggest players in India are Chinese companies, yes? And uh, do we have any exhibitor from India here? Like, is yes, there any... Yes, yes, we have uh, uh, three or four exhibitors. Uh, one is Corpius Tracker. It is a young company which has really grown in the last two years from one megawatt to over 60, 80 megawatts and they have order spending of the order of uh, inquiry spending of the order of 500 to 800 megawatts oh. in India. What about others? Uh, others of course is Sungro, Chinese company but uh, they are very much uh, in India and they are demonstrating uh, here. So um, last question uh, Pranav about um, let's say the relationship China and India. How does it work? Uh, Chinese colleagues are not jealous that uh, India is so growing and it can be maybe a bigger market than uh, that China in the future? How do you think? Uh, no, we have enjoyed uh, excellent relationship with uh, China. 75% of our uh, modules today are being imported from China. And uh, I see that uh, if there is a healthy competition, there is nothing wrong. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I am sure that uh, uh, China market, whether they can sustain this uh, 37.5 gigawatts that they added last year, whether they can add the same this year and over the years to come, uh, which everyone knows that we have to recognize the fact that, uh, you know, after reaching the peak, there, is, there may be a plateau, there may be a slight uh, reduction or something. Therefore, the next emerging market uh, is India. And of course, uh, similarly, it is uh, Japan, Australia is also coming up. And United uh, States. And US also, in a big way, uh, they are doing despite uh, whatever political. And you see, as professionals, we are irrespective of politics. We are all friends. And that's so awesome. And speaking about uh, friends and friendships, I would like to thank uh, to Pranav for being so, and his organization, the most powerful solar organization in the country, for supporting. So Solar Future today. Thank and, you. Uh, uh, let's invite and uh, our viewers to our great event that we're going to make in no, September no. in New Delhi. I am very glad to be here with our Honorary Director General, Mr. Deepak Gupta. And uh, really, we uh, are impressed by the way this has been organized and the very hardworking Chinese people. Okay, thank you so much. That was Solar PBTV together with uh, men with three heads with Pranav Mehta, Chairman of the Indian Solar Industry Association, Vice Chairman of APBA, Asian Photovoltaic Industry Association, and Co-Chairman of the Global Solar Council, building great relationship between India and China here in Shanghai. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.